Well, hey, I just was on here doing a little review of the original line Nespresso number 20 capsules. And in my order that I received yesterday, I got one other thing new to me, which is their one of their Barista Creations Maple Pecan for the Virtuo line. So I thought, well, hey, I could use another cup of coffee. Let me try this. So let me read you what it says here. It says why we love it. Maple meets pecan in a limited edition flavored coffee celebrating the season's sweet gifts. Ooh, limited edition. You know, they said that about the raspberry a couple of years ago, and boy, did it get bought up quickly. Of course, that was very unusual. We'll see how this is today. I love maple. I like pecans, so maybe it'll be good. It says, maple pecan brings together maple's caramelly sweetness with the nutty character of pecans. The flavor flows in harmony with the biscuit note of our Latin American and African Arabica coffee. Enjoy it with a dash of milk in your cup as a smooth reverso drink or splashed over ice to dial up its creamy caramel character. So a cafe reverso, that means that you do it in reverse of how people normally do. Instead of putting in your milk or cream after it's brewed, you put it in before. And what happens is when that coffee shoots into your cup, it kind of froths things up and uh, it makes more crema that has a nicer flavor. Okay, so any other information here? This makes a 7.7 .7 ounce cup. And, um, okay, it's, you know, it recommends trying it over ice also. So I guess maybe I'll do that tomorrow. And um, ingredients. Wait, let me find the English ingredients. Oh my gosh. They've got so many different languages. They've got, okay, what's BR? Oh, I bet that's Portuguese for Brazil. And they've got AR. Oh, my gosh. ES, well, that's probably Espanol. Espana, that's probably Spanish. Um, what else do they have here? E-N, oh, English, okay, F-R, French, um, wow, and they've got some other languages here that I'm not sure what they are. What is A-R? What does it look like? Cafe Tostado y Molido. Well, it kind of sounds Spanish, doesn't it? Oh, well. Okay, so, but it's fun. I wish Nespresso, well, there's probably a key somewhere on the website to what these abbreviations are, or maybe everybody else knows and I just don't know, okay? Anyhow, so it makes it more interesting. And the ingredients, I it has all natural flavors. I remember reading that. All right, so let's get on with this. Okay, so we open it up and here we have Oh, has a maple leaf on it. Okay. So, let's put it in our Virtuo machine. Now, it says to make it as a cafe reverso, but I'm not going to do that to begin with because I just want to taste it without anything else in it first. So, all righty, waiting for my machine. Oh, it's ready. All right, here we go. I'm going to put my nose over it and take a sniff. I'm a little stuffed up today, so I, I want to get real close. Oh, hey. I smell the maple and a sort of a caramelly kind of smell. Oh, fragrance. I mean, aroma. <laughs> Somebody once commented on one of my videos early on. They said, don't say smell. That connotes something um, unpleasant. Say 
you know, aroma. So aroma or fragrance, mapley. Okay. Oh, look at that. Look at it. It's all like, like a huge amount of crema, but it's liquefying here into coffee. So, all right, we'll see what happens. This looks different. So again, 7.7 .7 ounces, almost an eight ounce cup. And I found very often with the Virtuo coffees that I don't want to add extra hot water. However, sometimes I will add extra and unusually large amount of milk, maybe, you know, one, two, three, even four ounces in some of them, because it can just hold up to that. And being paired with the milk, it just is better than with plain hot water, in my opinion. Okay, so wow, look at that crema. Golly. Oh, this is this is really something. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm going to give it a few little stirs here. Kind of return a little bit of that crema. The the oils, the coffee oils back into the liquid part of the coffee. Now, you know, if you don't like crema, this is an unusually large amount for an espresso cup. <clears throat> if you don't like it, let your cup sit for a little while and it will dissipate. Okay, I guess I'll give it a try. sort of have to suction it in so that you get some of that liquid coming through and not just a mouthful of crema. Mmm, tasty. It's, it's got a nice flavor. You know what? I've got, uh, let me get, I've got my Santa creamer container here. I'm going to try putting in a mini moo, a half and half. Okay. All righty. Mm. Actually, that brings out more of the maple pecan flavor. Now, you know, don't, I'm gonna put one more in here. Don't be <clears throat> led astray by these, <clears throat> excuse me, by the names of these coffees. You know, sometimes you see something like maple pecan and you're expecting it to taste like maple syrup, you know, or something like that. These are just uh, subtle notes in the flavor and or aroma of the coffee. Uh, if, you wanted, if you want it to taste like maple syrup, then pour you some maple syrup in a cup of coffee, okay? So, okay. And the crema is already dissipating quite a bit. Here we go. Oh, you know, that's actually kind of nice. I could see, you know, getting used to this. That's not something I'd want to have every day, but it's it would be like a nice change. Um, to me, the uniqueness of the flavor most reminds me of having hazelnut coffee, uh, not in how it tastes, but in the type of flavor that hazelnut coffee to me tastes very different than other types of coffees. Um, there's just something unique about the flavor. And I would say this goes into that category. I'm gonna put in a little sweetener. This is just a partial packet. Maybe that was two thirds of a packet of Splenda. Okay, now see, look at the crema. It is probably one third or one fourth of what it was 
before. Okay. Mmm. Hey. Well, this is not bad at all. Um, I This is my opinion. This is how I've come to think of a lot of these coffees from Nespresso. Okay. If you like something a little different in your coffees from time to time, then these flavored coffees or just the different types of coffees, even if the flavor comes from, you know, just the natural contents of how the coffee is grown, where it's grown, how it's processed, all this sort of stuff, you know, then try these. In my opinion, I guess I like to stick with certain coffees so that every morning I expect a certain flavor and I get it. Um, and I found the flavor of Nespresso coffees to be pretty consistent over the years. Every once in a while there's a change in things that even I can detect, <laughs> which is saying something. I do not have an <clears throat> educated palate. Oh, we let the kiwi have a little drink here. <laughs> and yeah, so all right, that's my little um, opinion piece on the Nespresso Maple Pecan Limited Edition Barista Creation, okay? So that means their baristas, well, probably suggested, hey, let's try this flavor. And Nespresso made it. So, starts off with a huge amount of crema, probably half crema. And then, after a few minutes, it settles down to a more, what one might call a reasonable amount. Definitely like it better with cream, or half and half. And the sweetener, I could go either way. All right, uh, did I say it's Wednesday morning, about 9.15 a.m. on April 3rd, 2024, a dark and gloomy day in the southern USA. I talk to you later.